Your team is picking. It is in despair that I see the fondest. Hey guys, Moonton just released another insanely broken hero, Nathan. He's probably going to be banned quite often and will receive the nerf hammer very soon. It seems like a lot of players like to beat him like a marksman with crits items, but I personally think the raw damage is way better and I will explain why later in the video. I like to use the cooldown reduction shoes because I want to keep his stacks up. Nathan is quite similar to Claude in that regard but on steroids. So before I could play him rank, I had to play two classic games first, but right from the very first game, I could already tell that this new marksman is an absolute monster. His basic attack bounce back, which means items like Demon Hunter Sword will benefit a lot from this, it's like double basic attacks each time. Also, don't forget that his ult is a clone of him, which means he can do 4 basic attacks when his ult is active. And since a clone, that means that it mimics what he does, so it's recommended to use the ult first before casting his first and second skill, if you want to deal max damage. His passive converts all the physical penetration and lifesteal into magic penetration and magic lifesteal, which means that his skills will benefit from the physical lifesteal from Demon Hunter Sword. His first skill also has a very long range, quite similar to Yi Sun Shin's second skill when fully charged, but the difference is that Nathan doesn't need to charge his first skill. That's nuts. This hero is so broken, not only is his damage absolutely broken, but he also has an insane movement speed when his pass is fully stacked. This was my first match with him, but that didn't matter, because he's quite easy to use and you can just easily dominate the enemy with the right build. I know this was only a classic match, but after seeing how strong he is, I immediately went to play him in rank right after two classic games. 
So after seeing how powerful he was in the classic games, I was really thrilled to try him out in a ranked game. Your team is banning. It is in despair that I see the thought. But I was so excited about playing him that I'll overestimate his early game damage. He needs one core item to activate beast mode. So after dying 2 times and making the match a little bit more interesting, I decided to stop fooling around and not die again in this match. A quick tip, when you attack the blue buff, you can stack them like this to hit them both at the same time with his skills and basic attack. Pay attention to Hanabi here, she's going to help me kill their Balmond. Nathan's ult can help him take down the turret extremely fast. If you want to get full stacks right away, just use these skills on the minion waves. The more targets you hit, the more stacks you get. Lolita was pinging attack. I decided to trust her. I heard Hanabi attacking the small camp. She is a super easy target. It was at this moment. Wait a moment. Remember when I said I wasn't going to die again this game? Well, I don't really want to spoil it, but this is going to be quite epic. A light. Okay, but this time for sure, I will play a little bit smarter and try not to die again. You can swap position with his clone. Quite similar to Claude. Here comes Maniac. Our 
sad face. It seems like Odette doesn't know that the lethal provide vision for the team that killed it. That's why it's important to watch the videos of a certain YouTuber. Winky face. Okay, not gonna lie, I was really thrilled after getting that savage that I couldn't help but to do something that I almost never do. Sorry. It seemed like Odette was still confused about how Vel saw her on the map. This hero is absolutely naughty. You either have to ban him or play him. Unfortunately, I think the former is going to happen more often. <laughs> <laughs> 